The Canva glow up is here, or at least in my Canva workspace. But in this video, we are going to go over my first impressions, what has changed, and what you can expect when you get access to the new Canva glow up. To make sure we are all on the same page, essentially what the Canva glow up is, it is a user interface upgrade. And there is, from my understanding, the way that this is happening is Canva is rolling out this upgrade in batches. And I got access to the second batch because I believe the first 1 million had access right after the Canva Create event, which is their annual convention where they release new things into Canva. And so hence this Canva glow up. Now, I believe on August 12th, I received this email here saying that the Canva glow up was available for 48 hours only. Now, the way you get access to this is there is a specific button on the home page of Canva. It's a for you button and you would have to tap that seven times to get access to the new Canva glow up. So I made sure to screen record that process and what that looked like. Unfortunately, I did not record the sound, but let's go and see the playback of what this <laughs> whole experience entailed. So this is a screen recording. This is what the old Canva looks like. So I'm just going to give this a play and kind of walk you through essentially what I did here. So as you can see, I am tapping the for you button. I'm going to tap it seven times. I'm going to go knock, 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 knock. And then let's see what happens. All right. So it says you found the Canva glow up. And at this point, we are just going to turn it on. I'm reading it. That's why I'm, I'm kind of laggy, but there we go. We're going to turn it on. And I am person 9,569,36. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> Canva users. But anyways, it's taking us through this portal here. And boom, it's going to open up the new Canva glow up. Ta-da! I wish I had the sound effects on. But that's essentially what the Canva glow up looks like. It's slightly different, but still canva so i'm just gonna put this here again this is what the old canva looks like now if i go over to this screen i'll be right back i'm back this is what the new canva looks like so again similar but just cleaned up polished and refined now i know what you're thinking um many of us are kind of hesitant with this new canva globe as am i because i mean once you're used to the certain way the system is it's hard to then have to rewrap your brain around how to use the system again because you're so used to using it the way that it is but again in this video i'm just going to give you my first impressions as to how I feel about this and then share with you some different aspects of what has changed and what you can expect when you do get access to the new Canva Globe. Again, they're rolling this out in batches, so I'm not sure when they're going to open the portal again, but I just wanted to share this with you all. Sorry for the interruption. Let me drop this introduction. I sell Canva templates on SE for my real estate agent besties. I don't have to be on this track because I am not a rapper, a singer. All I do is help agents prosper, scan this code, and you'll be a winner. Or find the link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. And let's get back to the video. Okay, bye. Now, what you will notice first is that there is another panel here and this other panel here and from if we compare this to the old canvas so here's just a screenshot we can see that here's this panel only on one side and you see all this stuff up here which is now no longer there so the create a design button is in fact now over here rather than it being over here and if you wanted to create a custom size it is now uh right here and again you could do the same thing click a design and also access custom size right over here but just you know again slightly different but still canva and one thing that i've noticed quite majorly now is that if we were to let's say open up this design here if we open it up it's actually going to open a preview now there's two ways you can open this up in the full view if you click on just the design itself it will just immediately open up the design here 
or if you just again go back to here open menu and let's say we either click out of this again it's going to bring us to the home page if we click on this design you can actually click this open here which will then open this design in a new tab while also having the previous tab with the main dashboard just like that. Now, I actually like this because if you have lots of designs like me, which I usually like to be in grid mode rather than in list view, this just makes it easy because you can preview your designs before actually opening that design because I know if you're like me, you probably have hundreds of designs and then you're like thinking back a week ago, when did I make this design? What does it look like? Instead of, you know, searching for it manually, you can just, you know, open this up really quickly and be like, okay, yes this was the design that i was looking for and then you can just go ahead and open it up so i think that just makes it makes it really quick and easy to navigate which i really like and then if we close out of this you can see here we have again this panel but if you scroll all the way down you actually notice that we have recent designs here which will show right here and obviously if you would like to star designs you very well can do that so if you just click on this star it will actually star um, that specific design so it lives on this panel as you see here i have different folders that are starred and the way you could do that again is if you go into projects over here now which lives over here click on that you can open up uh, your folders here again add new add folder and then star whatever folder you would like just by pressing the star and then it'll show on your panel and then i'm assuming if you click those three dots you can remove it from that panel so it doesn't live there and we go to home that's what that would look like again you can see here that we have let's see this is just if you click on this this will just open up the instagram square post immediately this will open up the presentations docs whiteboard presentations social media now you see how it says social media see all in fact if you click this open it will give you kind of this pop-up menu where you can see all these other designs versus if you don't see the see all like this one here video see all print see all website it says create no if you just click that open it's not going to take you to the website templates it will just open up a blank document like this which might not be what you want so in this case to navigate to templates again you would have to go over to here in the templates area and this is where you can go to the website templates and search for what kind of template you would want kind of an extra step i would say not really a fan of that i like the way it was in the old system where you would just kind of click that category and then it would open up the templates in that way again custom size here is this and i guess you could i believe if you go through here you can toggle through the different templates like that or again as i mentioned go over here to your templates on the left hand side now really quickly here if you wanted to as you see here i have my canvas system in dark mode which i prefer because it just makes it easier for me to design because i usually design with lots of colors and having that contrast just makes it easier for me to see i feel so if you feel the same way let me know in the comments down below to turn on the dark mode you you just want to go over to your um profile picture up here you open up the settings over here and if you just scroll down right from here you will see in the theme section just you know sync with system light which not a fan i like the dark mode again it just makes it easier for me to see um, what i'm doing both in the canva home page and in my canva designs ultimately the major glow up of this canva globe is indeed going to be the editor or the editing window when you are designing on canva so if we again go into any document let's say if we're going to go into this one again we can go into this preview we can either open this up in a new tab or again as mentioned click directly on this design it will open up this design and close that panel on the left hand side now as you can see here there is nothing at the top as there normally would be in the old editing window now basically what happens is when you click on a certain element on your design it is going to then open up a panel relevant to that specific element so let's just click on this text box here and as you can see now we have all of this up here magic right the size things like that effects animations positions and then if we click this open see all it will open up this menu 
on the right hand side so now we're making use of both sides of the screen where typically when we were using canva in the old system everything would just pop up on the left hand side now if we click off of that it will just all those little pop-up panels will just go away <laughs> Now, if we, in this case, click the text, if we just hover our mouse over here, it's going to open this, but if we move our mouse, it will disappear. Unless you actually click on this text tile, it will then be pulled in. And then even if you click out of here, that this side is still remains. But in this case, I am just going to close this out and then it will go away so really what they're making use of is more space so it just seems more clean and um i guess well kept if you say if you want to say personally for me i'm a little on edge about this because i'm so used to canva being the way that it was so it's gonna be it's gonna take me some time to get used to not having having everything already my menu of things already at the top where it usually would be in this case it's not there anymore but that's okay, it's a glow up. So we're gonna have to get used to this together. Now, as you see here at the bottom, this is what they call the thumbnails of this, of this design. Now, this is a Instagram template that I saw on my Etsy shop for real estate agents. So <laughs> scan this code here to give it a looky-loo if that interests you. But essentially what I'm saying here is that if you look down here, it says scroll view. And now typically this is what many of us are used to is being in this continuous scroll. But I found that as of lately, I really do enjoy the thumbnail view. So this is just showing all of the pages right at the bottom so you can easily scroll horizontally and navigate as easily as you normally would now in this case we can also open up this grid view so again you can see all the pages of your design and give that a scroll like that especially if you have lots of pages of designs and obviously if you open this up this will will expand it into that presentation view and then you can toggle with your keys to you know go through all of the designs and again you can just click this out or press the escape key on your keyboard and boom you are right where you have started so again i'm just going to close this out and i like to live in the thumbnail view and then this is the thumbnail view is actually very how would you say um very useful if you are creating videos or you want to create transitions between different pages now you see down here we have duration if you open this up this will actually give you kind of a playback you can't really see that here but here's the plus plus button the play button if i give this a play it's basically going to go through the timeline as if it was a video now in this case because we have the duration pulled up you can then change the duration of each page. So I'm clicked on this page now. We see up here, this is the timing, the duration. You can change it. So then you can change the, let's say from one second to five seconds, and then you can change it all across the 84 pages. If you just toggle this bad boy on like that, like that, no, there we go, like that. You can see that down here, these pages have extended, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fool around. <laughs> but in this case if we you know kind of hover our mouse in between the pages we can add a transition and this will open up the panel not on the left side but now on the right side <gasps> so i mean same panel same thing you can just put whatever you want if you click on the slide one you can change the direction change the speed and if you scroll down you can apply this specific transition between all the pages but i'm just going to click out of here because we don't want that we don't want that i'm going to put none and obviously if you click here add page you will add an additional page in between that page all right so that's kind of what that would look like on this side now if we click down here we have quick action so this is what i like to call the magic assistant before it was on this side over here but now she has moved over here so if we give this a click this is what this is going to open up this panel um, the shortcut for this is the backslash key which is the one with the question mark so if i hit the backslash key it should open that up i don't really use that as often as i should i probably should but 
I don't really need to use it as much because I like to go through all of these different tiles on this side here. As we see here, we have the apps here, which again, if we open that up, we can have access to all the different third-party applications that Canva is hosting within the platform. And obviously we have their photos, videos. Now mine is, uh, I have a lot of things open simply because I have different project folders. So in this case, if I go up to, where are you? projects and again as you saw i like to keep my designs organized within folders so that way if i am designing i can reference a, a previous design um, and then just copy it into this workspace so that my friend is pretty much it for the canva glow up at least for now so let me know in the comments down below if you are excited about this new update this interface or you're kind of like me where you're like ah, more to learn but in any which way, if you made it to the end of this video, then you know what it is, you know what to do. Yeah, comment down below, hashtag and crew. Please be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any content from me because in the coming days, months, and weeks, you and I are both going to learn how to use the new Canva. But with that said, if you want to learn more about Canva and what I already have on my channel, then definitely check out this dedicated playlist of Canva tips and tricks right over here. And if you're ready, get ready to click in three, two, one.